So what I want to show you is a couple of different display features that are features of the Snapdragon 800 line. So this is going to show on a Snapdragon 805. And actually some of this is already shipping in devices like the Nokia 2520 and the Nokia 1520 on the Snapdragon 800. So the display processor is an important part of any smartphone or tablet device. And it's really separate from the graphics GPU. Everybody knows the term GPU, but actually everything the GPU does ultimately gets pumped out through the display controller. The display controller adds a lot of additional value, uh, whether it's a video or whether it's a 3D gaming or whatever you might be doing, even a, the wireless display through Miracast is a function of the display controller as well. So let me show you what I'm talking about. The first one I'm going to show you is something that we call a uh, Hollywood quality video. Uh, and, and this is using, um, using the color palette to protect certain colors. So in this example, I actually want to warm up this guy's face a little bit. So it was, this is the before, this is the after. If I turn on my palette adjustment, you can actually see how he turns a, a little bit more red, a little bit true color. But his white t-shirt did not change color, and that's what's important. Anybody can tweak the green, you know, the tints and things in an image, but I actually want to do it with specific colors. Uh, and phone manufacturers will do this. They know full well that people take a lot of pictures, let's say, out at a grassy field. And I want my foliage to look good, but I don't want everything to have a green pallor passed over it. So let me pick up another example here. I'll pick up something that has a little bit more with foliage. Okay, so looking at these two images right now are exactly the same. If I turn on the enhancement for foliage, this gets a little bit brighter, a little bit clearer in the color you know, versus this one, but you really don't see any of the other colors changing. So the pinks didn't turn more green. You know, so there are ways to compensate. This is used also to calibrate displays because every display technology has a little bit different capability, right? So you have to be able to adjust it. Well, let's take it a step further and say I want to be able to, to amp up the, green, the blues in the skies or the green in the field or the brown on the sand on the beach, but I don't want everything to have a screwed up color because of it. The next thing that I want to show you is what we call assertive display. And then let me see if I can just get to the right place here for that one. And in this example, this is the daylight viewing capability. And the typical response that we all have when we get outside in the light is we turn up our backlighting, okay? That only works to a certain point. You can't compete with the sun, okay? So you can turn up your backlight. The backlight's one of the biggest consumers of battery power in any mobile device. So that's a short-term solution. But we can be smarter than that because I know that my eye has a different response to different colors and different light intensities. Just as at night, I can use a red light to shine and it won't cause my light to react to the light, you know, it's because your light responds differently to different colors based on the light intensity. The same thing happens in bright daylight. So what we're doing here is what's called assertive display. It's a per pixel gamma correction. And it doesn't really matter what the content is, whether it's a video or a game that you're playing or whatever else you might be doing. We can adjust every pixel on the screen individually in response to how bright the light is. So in this case, we've got a, a light up here shining down right on this so that it's really bright. And if I can cover up the ambient light sensor, you can see it react on this side. But this is the uncompensated image, this is the compensated image. And I can turn it on and off here if I do it right. So there's what it is, looks like before. This is what it looks like after. This is a dedicated hardware block in the Snapdragon display processor. So it's not taking GPU or CPU or DSP cycles. It's all on its own. And that's not on the Lumia 2520 and 1520. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, and it's actually something that, I said it doesn't matter what the content is, but we're actually exposing an API for game developers because game developers actually do know what's coming next. If you're watching a video, you have no idea what's coming next. You can only react to what's on the screen. But a game developer knows. He knows what you're about to walk into a dungeon, it's gonna be dark. He can actually amp it up because he can read this sensor. He can say, I want more assertiveness. I wanna be clear on this. So we're gonna see more and more people starting to take advantage of this proactively. But even just set on automatic, it's pretty impressive.